Hello and welcome back everyone to Universe Sandbox. So, I honestly... God, coming from Ace Attorney to this is such a change in tone. Don't worry, you should totally watch the Ace Attorney series though, it's so much fun, especially when I'm streaming on Twitch. Also, you should hit that likes... like? Likes? Subscribe button and the notification bell and all that stuff, but I'm not gonna bore you with that. Anyways, let's go ahead and start a new simulation, and today, since you guys seem to love it when I do things including water, I don't know why, yeah, you guys some Hydra homies or something? Alright. Well, we're gonna go ahead and we're going to see what happens if we douse the sun in ungodly amounts of water. Like, everyone's wondered, what if I shot the sun with water? And I mean, that's a good thing to think about, you know? But realistically... A little bit of water not going to do much to the sun. I mean, actually, considering it's mostly hydrogen, um, two hydrogen, one oxygen, it probably will just act as fuel for the sun, uh, because hydrogen fusion is the easiest thing to fuse for it, so uh, maybe it would even increase the... Well, I guess greater mass stars don't live longer, but it would give it some fuel, so that's something, but... This isn't enough. Let's go ahead and increase the particle mass. Let's... Oh, really? It's at nine moons right now? Huh! Okay. Well, I guess the particle mass is pretty high up anyways. So let's turn it to one Earth per particle. So now we are just dousing the sun with a lot of water. Like, a lot. Each one of those little particles you see is like one earth of mass and i wonder if we can tell if the sun is changing size from this they look really closely once they start to hit um maybe a tiny bit not really noticeably if we get like really really close i wonder if we can notice there we go oh Oh, definitely. It's definitely growing a little bit from that. All right. But it doesn't seem to have any major effects from it. So let's go ahead and set it to 10 Earths each. I mean, how much water can we add to the sun before it has some issues? All right. Let's, let's get a little bit more serious. Let's do one Jupiter particle. This is probably way overkill. This is probably going to cause some damage. Oh! Ah! Poor sun! What have we done? We've made sun very fat. Not, not that there's anything wrong with that. It's, it's, it's okay, sun. How, how, how large are you now? You are... Wait, wait, how did you lose mass? What? How did you lose mass? That makes no sense. Composition, 27% water now. It's all plasma. It's, it's all right. But how did it lose mass? I don't understand. Let's throw a little bit more water at it, see what happens. Oh man, that was really far away. Whee! When the sun gets wet in the sky and the angels just cry. Oh my. Oh, nothing, nothing really happened. I don't really know what's going on here, though, because some of the effects we're getting here are really odd. Why did the mass decrease? I mean, by all known laws of aviation... Oh, there we go. See, now we're at one sun. Let's go ahead and just keep drenching the sun in water. Look at what it's doing to the patterns on the sun. They're getting humongous. Look at the sunspots! They are giant now! Oh my god. Huh. It just keeps getting larger. It doesn't seem to be causing any real damage. It's just... making it very large. So that we can actually see the effect we're having, let's go ahead and switch simulations really quickly. Switch to our solar system so that we can see the effect it has on things like the Earth. Let's go back to our tool, material, and let's just dump some, dump some water on the sun. Oh, huh. I think we may have went a little bit too fast there. All things down. 
All right, so we just dumped some water on the sun. The sun is now 1.2 solar masses. Its composition is about 17% water. Let's see what this has done to the Earth. Are we getting any noticeable... Oh, there is definitely a noticeable change in temperature. It's really jumping. This looks like what would happen if we just allowed Rockefeller to run the Earth forever. Get it? Because climate change? Because oil? No, no, okay, okay, good. just ignore. It is getting very warm on Earth. Holy moly, 70, 80 degrees, 90, it's boiling! Oh god, I just removed the oceans using water. Ironic. Very ironic. Alright, I guess we're gonna have to see if we can reverse the effect. We still got it up here, we can see it. Let's see if the re effect reverses if we add more. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! What? Just... First off, the sun's mass just dropped by like 50%. Second off... What the heck? Wait, no, we need to get the sun's mass back up. Excuse me. There we go, back to one sun. Is that enough to rescue the orbits of everything? Uh, it looks like it is. I don't know about Venus and Mercury, they... Uh, well, they're still orbiting. They're just not looking very good. Neither is Earth, though, with the temperature absolutely skyrocketing after that. The sun really hit a point where it just... That the size, it just expanded so much. See if we add even more water, what happens? <laughs> yeah, so the mass of the sun is increasing. Nothing super interesting is happening now, though. I mean, it's definitely getting larger and hotter. Or at least the larger means it's getting closer because radius increase, and that's making it seem hotter. Earth is now at... 400 degrees, which I'd say no longer can your AC deal with it. You may want to get someone to help out with that. But Earth's orbit is still pretty happy and simple, so I guess we can just pour more water on the sun. No, no, you don't think that's the best solution? Well, here's my plan. We can fight back against the tyranny of the sun. All we have to do is go to Earth and give Earth some more water. You know what the interesting thing is? The Earth's actually... Never mind, dig it back. Try to check the data before I said that. There's still water though, which is really odd. There should really be no water at this point. But it's all right. We'll fix that by adding water. Each of those is the mass of Jupiter, keep in mind. Uh... <laughs> Mm, there's going to be some repercussions to this. Um, I don't even know how the game is going to deal with this much water hitting the Earth at once. It's probably just going to die. A horrible death. Explode into a gas giant immediately. But you never know. Yep, yep. Gas giant! Earth is fighting- oh my god! Earth just became a star. Star of their own show. Wow, the temperature of Earth just dropped. To... Just... Nothing. I guess they can't track it anymore. That's sad. Wow. Energy radiation rate 11 yada watts. Damn, Earth. Damn. Oh my god, Earth just flung Mars. Wow. How violent. Well, guys, I guess that's what happens when you throw water at the sun. 
Uh, strange behavior. I did not expect it to lose half of its mass randomly, but if you know why that happens, let me know. But maybe it's just a mystery. Thank you all for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I will see you all next time. Peace out.